be disturbing matter. All right, and moving on now, Interior CS and Acting Education CS Fred Matiangi has faulted the current education system in Kenya for the tribulations graduates undergo in the job market. Matiangi says part of the reforms include the proposal to include performance contracts among university lecturers. Magna Maswa has that story. It was a public lecture and panel discussion at the Strathmore Business School in Nairobi in honor of the late Harvard Don Kalesas Juma. C.S. Fred Matiangi, who is now acting as Education Cabinet Secretary, took the opportunity to highlight the reforms being undertaken in the ministry. If you spend time reading, if you respect knowledge and facts, we are going towards a point where we don't have an option but to relook really at the structure and the expansion of university education in Kenya. Matiangi faulted the rapid expansion of universities and satellite campuses, insisting that the move has failed to avail quality higher education to the vast majority of Kenyans. It is not expansion, it's called massification. We created things, some of them that are worse than a glorified high school, just because we wanted to have the term university. When you go in there and find out what we are teaching, it's a joke. Among the ongoing reforms is an attempt to bolster greater emphasis on technical and vocational education, skills that have largely been missing in action in Kenya's curriculum. It is being worked on in line with the requirements of the competency-based education and training, and also recognition of prior learning. Matiangi's view is that currently, Kenya has only succeeded at churning out thousands of university graduates, out of whom about 80% possess qualifications in liberal arts and social sciences, minus technical hands-on skills to the chagrin of potential employers. How come we have those kinds of failures at the Kenyan School of Law? How come the uh, EIB, the Engineers Registration Board, is screaming about the people we are turning out? How is it that the Kenya Private Sector Association has been having conversations with me about the quality of graduates we are turning who are going to the market. But one of the radical proposals Matiangi says might be the way forward is introduction of performance contracts for university lecturers. You will be employed on a contract basis, prove yourself. When you get to senior lecturer or associate professor level, that's when you love a tenured position, as they do. So that now, productivity is an issue. Reforms in Kenya's education system are currently underway, a gradual process expected to run till 2027. Already changes are being effected right from elementary level, special needs schools to university. Teachers and learners now expected to cope with the reforms. Mark Namaswa, KTN.